Hi everybody, this is Anumeta here and I am talking today about a project that I am doing. It is called Listen and Create a Smile. I am doing this project on various, it's just as the name suggests, listen to someone or share yourself with someone. So my appeal to everybody is, can you donate 10 minutes of your time and hear what your children have to tell you, hear what your parents have to tell you, hear what your driver maybe needs to tell you, hear what your maid needs to tell you and don't just hear, maybe there are times when you are feeling low, you are not feeling happy about something. How about then just picking up a phone and really with intent talking to some friend of yours and sharing how you are feeling. It's all about not being in a place of vulnerability, not being in a place where you think you don't have support and nobody is listening to you. So create that bridge in between wherein you will allow people to support you and you will support people. In the bargain you will create belonging and in this whole story you will also create love and joy and happiness. Now let's see how that can happen. If you look at the olden times, you had uh, our grandparents were there, we had infrastructure, our families were not nuclear, lot of people were there. So if somebody was not feeling okay, you always had somebody to talk to. And what did we find? Less mental problems then, less health issues because people had someone to share themselves with. Let's see what's happening today then. Today, parents are very busy because they have to go out and earn. It's a double income families. Children are often left with the maid who may be structurally listening to them, but maybe the child doesn't get or feel heard by you. Also, I've often seen that when the mother is really busy and she doesn't want the child to disturb her, she gives the child a phone or a tablet to play with or puts on a TV. So what is the child talking to? The TV, the media and the tablet. The child is really not talking to you. What about giving 10 minutes of your time with intention and sitting with your child and actually hearing him? Do you think that would make a difference? I've also seen couples sitting across the table and SMSing to each other or people sitting on a dining table eating food but really not conversing with each other but then what are they doing? They are actually talking in a virtual world either on a WhatsApp, Facebook or on another multimedia social media site. How about sitting down with your families and talk, to you, talk with each other? If you think that's going to create harmony, that's going to create belonging, that's going to create love, that's going to create sharing, please do it. Let's also look at where else. We look at uh, big hospitals. People are just dumped there. I wouldn't say dumped. People have gone there for help. And what if the patient suddenly opens his eyes and doesn't see any loved ones around? What does he see? Maybe a patient on the other hand or maybe sounds of a patient and pain and agony. Can he feel at home? How about you spending 10 minutes of your time with anyone maybe in the hospital donating that 10 minutes sitting with a stranger. You must have gone on the road and seen a lot of children just playing along or doing. Has, have you ever thought about stopping yourself sitting down there with that little child and asking him how you are? Forget about just going and asking a little child on the road. How about asking your friend how they are? Do you know how many people are committing suicide today because they don't have someone to talk to? Will you please help me with this project wherein just by sharing yourself or listening to someone, we could save someone's life. Like old age homes, we could talk with people there. You can do your listening and sharing in whichever way you want to. But it just takes 10 minutes to save a life. If you want to connect with me and take this project further, please connect to me on my phone number 9930898116. I am really grateful to Help Library for carrying this message across. You could also connect to me uh, via my email anu.metamedicine at gmail.com and I will then help you 
to equip you to do the listening or the sharing and as I said you can do it whichever way you want let's get together guys and let's try saving at least one child and if you don't want to save anyone save yourself share yourself with someone don't sit in your pain because there are many people out there who would love to listen to you if you're there in this world it makes a difference to me even if I don't know you will you make a difference in someone's life thank you so much namaste